OK, so I'll start at the front. Well, the grille is quite distinctive, and that's because it's not just a big wedge of black or chrome like a lot of cars are now. It's actually body coloured. Well, I think that's, that's unique. I like that. Above the headlight, you'll see this crease that runs all the way down the side of the car, and it's actually quite straight and clean and uncluttered. Um, and you're, at the back door there, you, you've noticed that the, the door handle's actually recessed and, and quite well hidden. It's a bit like the Honda E model. I quite like the fact that there's that waistline that's, that's flat because the, a lot of cars now, the back door kicks up and it means that there's less window space. Was it like what? Did, okay. It kind of goes up like that. <laughs> and if you're a small kid, and I've noticed this from my kids, they can't quite see out of the window and they start to get travel sick. So it's a small thing, but it's actually significant on a long journey. Then that crease goes into the back lights. It's got like this full width neat light cluster there and then below that it's a really kind of flush recessed back bumper that I think is quite distinguished I'm, I'm into that and actually talking of the lights this has LEDs all round on the HRV So when you get in, you're met with a pretty airy, open, clean interior. And by that, I mean it's quite an uncluttered look. The dash is low and it's quite level, so it's good for visibility. In the middle here, you've got a nine inch touchscreen, but there are physical buttons for the things that you typically use more often, like the heating, air conditioning, demisting, and volume control, which is pretty good. You've got the ignition power button just here on the right hand side and then you've got a physical button down here for your drive mode which is eco normal or sport next to the electric handbrake and then there's four usbs two here at the front and then there's two at the back for the rear passengers just on behind this armrest here so there's a lot of soft touch furnishings to the dash but in the middle you've got this full width selection of vents bookended by these l-shaped vents and these are a new development from Honda the idea being they disperse the air a little bit more gently rather than just blasting your face or your feet and that can circulate the air a bit more efficiently in the cabin talking of which let's go in the back and that spaciousness continues in the rear of the cabin Back here, we've got a couple of different configurations of cargo space, and this is Honda's so-called magic seat system. Here, we've got what they call the tall seat function. So the bottom swings up, locks out, and you can put things like tall pot plants or big dogs in here. The seats split 60-40 at the back, and both of them go down like this, completely flat. And then if you want to store extra long stuff, you can put the passenger seat right down like this. Then for humans, well, 
the good news is there's almost a completely flat floor in the HRV. There's actually more space in this HRV than the previous model. Loads of headroom, better legroom, especially for the person sitting in the middle at the back. And again, a feeling of openness and airiness. And the space continues back here with the interior. If I give it a pretend kick, power tailgate goes up and you're greeted with a huge amount of storage space. Very, very useful, good shape. And then I press that and I simply walk away. And there you have it.